and welcome you are gaming with me Brothgar and today I got some more adventure capitalist for you now the last time we were making this videos of adventure capitalism we were actually on the event here which was oh, 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 sh you didn't see that we are looking at the event the root of all evil and this event was so incredibly long for those of us who were playing it just normally without gold or without cheating um, that they actually extended it for 48 hours which is a good thing because I ended up actually getting all the gold I needed in the 48 hour extension I had to play the game like crazy one of the problems with these events is that when you play it on the computer you can't really take it with you and it's one of those things where you kind of got to manage it every once in a while so you open your phone you do whatever you need to do you know but when it's on your computer you only get there's like a big chunk of time every day that you can't touch it so it made it made finishing that event kind of hard let me go ahead and show you the video of me doing it a little bit so here we are um mute no mute there's a mute boom boom all right so here we are in the event as it, i was playing it out earlier and i changed my strategy a little bit when it actually came to doing this sort of thing um what it was i was normally doing the super king the badger and the knight and then i would do gareth over here which this seemed to work up to right around the 60 everything mark at that point uh, i ended up going back on over here and then switching to just the good side so it turns out that the spider-man guy whatever he was called spider-man guy would actually have just as much or he actually had more profit than than the this guy over here the gareth guy so i ended up just sticking to the left side more realistically and then just resetting once i got a bunch of angels so it took a long time i had to really babysit it a bunch but the key thing here and the big thing about what today is going to be all about is i have enough mega bucks now to max out everything on both earth and the moon and as you guys saw right there <laughs> this game i tell you what it is just cranking out the events one after another so the next one we have here is live rich and profit live rich and profit i didn't say that right live rich and profit not live <laughs> I might be doing a live stream of it. That's probably why I said it right there. Anyhow though, Live Rich and Profit starts May 4th. And you know what else is kind of coming out right around May 4th? Overwatch. So you know what? We're going to do a live stream event on both this and Overwatch. We're going to combine the two. And it'll be like a two hour event on May 4th right there. So I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to Overwatch. I have not been able to play the game as of just yet, but considering it's probably a lot like the other game I'm playing right now, Paladins, I'm going to love it. And you know what? I love that style of shooter game, so I've already pre-ordered it and knowing that it's going to be a good thing. And I'm getting it on the PC, so I got it for 40 bucks, so it's a little bit less, which is nice. I mean, for for if you were to get it on the console, unfortunately, it'd cost you a little bit more. I don't know why they don't have the $40 option on the consoles. It doesn't seem to make sense to me. Anyhow, though, enough to boost everything. So we are going full boost ahead. Let's do it. Let's go back to Earth and let's crank it up. Let's crank it up. All right, so the angel and investors that I have here, I have total angels, 162, triggered a tillion right there, and game claimed with restart is 1.869 untriggered a tillion. That's a lot of angels. But um, let's go ahead and just take a look here at just where we are in the world of how big our numbers actually gotten. Let me, let me do a little Googling. All right, so if we go over to this website, name of large and small numbers boom right there there it is and i am looking for untriggeredatillion untriggeredatillion i type it in here boom untriggeredatillion so we are 10 to the 96th power we have almost made it to a google amount of angels right there what we're past a google and we're on our way to a googleplex eventually i mean oh my goodness look at this 10 to the google <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a little while until we can get to the Googleplex. I wonder if this game actually goes that high. Uh, there's only one way to find out. But we've nearly made it to a Google Angels. A Google of Angels. Oh, that's gonna be great. There's another name for a video. Anyhow, though, let's boost this sucker up. So we got mega tickets. Let me go ahead and just spend the money. At this point, it doesn't matter. I mean, it seems like they're more interested in making events, and I'm thinking like extra planets is more or less what i'd like right like to go to venus or or jupiter where everything is like really big money and um that seems like a great idea like big slow heavy businesses would be a cool idea for jupiter you could do like mercury uranus all those different planets and they can have like different themes based on gases and uh, like like saturn would be a cool one because you could have the different rings and stuff and the moons on jupiter right cool stuff i don't know why they don't do that but anyhow this is very space themed live rich and profit okay focus get back to focus and uh mega tickets at this case 
All right, so I'm not gonna save up to 90. That doesn't make any sense because I don't need it. So I'm just gonna do it. Boom, one a piece. Thank you for the first ticket. Do another one, another one. Alrighty, we have 12 mega tickets. Let's boost this up. Now I've heard a thing, a theme I should say, where you get a boost if you boost everything. So we'll just have to see. We'll have to see if that is true or not. We're gonna find out right now. All right, so let's go ahead and boost this. The car wash has been boosted, yes. We'll boost it one more, the pizza. Yeah, come on, shrimp and boat. Nice, look at how much money this stuff is making. One more, one more, and we got this. Full boost ahead! Mega planet boost unlocked! And there was something that flashed shortly in front of me, but look at the new color I have! Look at this, that's cool. And career as some sort of shininess. What, what did I get? Oh, I got this shirt. I love my art. Earn a, bleh, earn for mega boosting all of Earth's investments. Wait, but look at this, can I boost it again? No, I can't. It is platinum, everything has become platinum. But it really doesn't look like anything else is moving faster, so I'm not suspecting that we actually are going faster because we boost everything. We did get a cool shirt, though. Mm -hmm. But let's head on over here to the moon, and let's boost it up here as well. Moon boots, boosted. The TARDIS, boosted. Also known as the gravity boots. The weird people that are smiling at you, boosted. The moon express, boosted. We got just enough to keep going here. How about them farms? Helium farm, you know what's up. <laughs> Amusement park. What up? Oh, yeah. Woo! Werewolf colony. And the giant laser to finish everything off and boost all of the planets, except for Mars, because that's already done. Yeah! Boost it! Yeah! We got ourselves a 10 mix of multiplier to all moon something right down there. It is true. You do get a 10x multiplier. How about that? You had to read it fast, though, didn't you? <laughs> if you're distracted by the t shirt, you'll miss it. And you've worked hard, so you don't want to miss that. So that's cool. I hurt my moon. I hurt my earth. And I'm filthy rich. <laughs> but we aren't even close to done yet because in the next episode, not this one, because we got to save it. We got to have a new theme for the next episode. I'm going to be spending gold, baby. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing here. You guys are going to have to give me an idea of what I want to do. I have a three times multiplier, 12 times multiplier, flux capacitors that I could also get. I have 95 gold that I can spend. I can also get a gold suit, a blue suit, so I could probably mix and match these a little bit. I could probably do a three times multiplier on both planets. That would that would work out to 40 gold right there. And then I could do another faulty in where that on all planets get 2x multiplier or I could do like two 3x multipliers and then a flux capacitor probably boost the profits by 1.2 which might actually be the best way to spend my money and that's the real thing we got to start investigating the gold of what the best options I have I also have the red suit which I gained from the Valentine's event and that red suit gives me a 2% angel effective bonus to the plant you are wearing it on which is both the moon and earth so I already have a suit and I'm not sure if adding to a, a switching to a different suit here Maybe the blue suit or the gold suit is actually going to be worth it if I can combine some of the 3x multipliers plus flux capacitors or something like that I don't know it's an interesting combination But let's go ahead and get ourselves in a restart on the platinum earth, baby Ooh, mm, Yeah, that's a lot of angels This looks good. I like it you know what? This makes me feel legitimate in this game. The fact that everything I have here is super platinum mm, makes me feel like I'm a, a superstar of some sort. I like it. Mm, we might just finish off the earth at some point here. It might not be that far out there. Look at that. Oh, money everywhere. I'm not even running it. And it looks good. I'm glad it changed to this color. I've seen some people where it's just all gold, but what true platinum players now? This is my greatest hit ever. Boom! Give me them angels. All right, so some other things that have been going on here over the weekend and throughout the end of the week is I've been playing a lot of Clash Royale. You guys have been seeing that I've been doing that. I'm more or less trying to kick off the series. That's why I'm uploading it absolutely every day. And uh, not only that, it also helps me get a lot better at making videos for that because I really enjoy the game. And the cool thing about that game, um, even though not everybody here enjoys that game, is the fact that everybody I know, both my coworkers and my best friend and other people that I've met with that I constantly play with, like Divine Nemesis and them, are actually playing this game. So pretty much everybody I know that has an interest in video games at just about of any level is playing Clash Royale. So it's, to me, it's the most like community-based game I have. Most games I, you can usually play with one, maybe two friends, but this one, I'm actually meeting new people to play the game with, which is pretty cool. I'm glad to actually be able to go into work and share my strategy with my coworkers and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. And it's also a very good thing for like communicating and having a, 
a conversation as far as how I'm trying to format the videos with recommended builds. I think that's pretty awesome. And you know what? I think as far as the adventure capitalist thing goes, I'm sorry, as far as the Clash Royale thing goes, that that is something kind of unique um, as compared to what other people are doing. Plus, it kind of fits that same format of how I was doing Loadout. Pretty awesome. I'm enjoying it. But I'm enjoying the Platinum Adventure Capitalist as well. I don't know. Like, are we going to get to the point where we have a Google of Angels? I know we are. We're not that far off. But a Google Plex. That's what I want. Impossible. Coming for you, but I'm aiming for you. Look at this one. Two and dash one in million. I don't even know how much that is. An Nplex? Is that what that is? Ten to the N is called an Nplex. An N minix is basically the matrix as far as I can understand. <laughs> wait, 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 Google Plex, Google Plex, 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 and it just keeps going. And then what happens when you get to a Google Plex, Plex, do you get to the Plex is like squared? I don't understand. At some point they're gonna have to figure it out because I'm just like, I'm making too much money around here. I'm gonna have to invent some new numbers. Anyhow though, that was Earth. That's a lot of, m a lot of money. So how's the moon going? I think we might've kicked the moon into high gear with this boostage at least i would hope so right let's claim these angels and get it rolling again mm, bam give me them boots manages you know what's up uh the other thing that i was actually contacted by a company and this is like the first time it's ever happened to me they're actually sending at me a headset for me for me to actually review which is pretty cool i've never had somebody do that my only hope is that it doesn't suck <laughs> Because you know when you tell somebody that you're going to make an unbiased review, which opens up that possibility that it's just going to be terrible. And then you're going to be like that horrible person that has to be like, uh, yeah, thanks for sending me this, but your product sucks. But hopefully it doesn't. Fingers crossed, right? I don't know. That's just one of those like things that get you when you're kind of trying to do something new and different. I'm not really, I've never, all the reviews I've ever done is stuff I paid for, you know? I take that back. I think, no, there was a couple games that people sent me, but those weren't an issue because they were actually pretty good. So there's been plenty of games that people have sent me that are bad. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I can't even play this thing long enough to review it. Thanks, but no thanks. Anyhow, um, so what we have here is we have 48 Tredecillion. Boom. And we got on the It looks like the moon is moving. Got some new upgrades and we're constantly moving. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's move on over. Some guys were like, cool, cool, cool. You said cool, cool, cool. That was one of the comments. Maybe I'll find it over here. I did watch the community. It's awesome. And I went to a community college, which is why probably why I thought it was awesome. So, so real. <laughs> Uh, what mouse do you have? I use a Death Adder Logitech G602. The only weird thing about it, besides this mouse being completely awesome, I'm not sure. I think it's software related. I've had this like double click thing going on, like where you just click and it seemed like every third click was a double click. I don't know. Let's see if it's happening right now. It's not. It's not doing it right now. Just sometimes. I think I found a way of fixing it. I don't swap it in my USB ports or something. I don't know. There's probably a Windows update waiting to happen that I just haven't turned off my computer in the last five days. And that's probably ticking it off. I hate that. Windows 10's updates are terrible. Are you serious? Yeah, dude, I'm completely serious. Rope Slinger's greater than the Gareth Green. Just saying. You know what? In the end, I think it was worth it. But up to a certain point, it wasn't. I don't think it was. I don't know. I really don't think it was. Mmm. I didn't know water would taste so good. Oh. It's tap water, too. Like, I don't know what's up. All that metal or lead they put into it. It's delicious. It's refreshing. Anyhow. Uh, Luke I7. If I go back to a different vents, will anything bad happen? Yeah, you can't go back. You just kind of look at them and be like, hey, you know what? I was there, but you can't click on them. They don't, they don't take you anywhere. Samara H, only focus on the hero side and upgrade Jared Green when you get a speed of updates of everything. Yeah, that's what it ended up being. Brathgar, what's up, dude? I'm making a video. What's up, awesome kid? Yeah, this event is definitely the hardest because of all events. Different upgrades that would actually hurt you which kind of made it hard to do resets because you had to do them quick enough. But unfortunately, since you had to do those, you really had to kind of be careful about what you were clicking on. And that made them a little bit longer as opposed to normal stuff. But look at, look at the moon. Look at it. It's doing it. It's like a champ. Just actually making progress. So what is my most pro <laughs> bunch of big numbers I don't recognize? Um, Pretty much anything that's going to upgrade. Nothing. Nothing. 30 sextillion angels at the moment. Boom. You're doing awesome there, Andrew McGames. Finish the event. Awesome. Focus on the one side. Zectus Gaming, can you give a shout out to Shia Cart? And you know what? I believe I did this in one of the previous videos. He does some um, Grand Theft Auto 5 stuff. Anyhow, thank you so much for uh, saying that I deserve more subscribers. Pretty awesome right there. You guys can go check that guy out as well. Play more Crash Royale. I've been doing that one. For sure. Wants me to go into my gallery and look at everything where I get my stats, David. All right. Uh, we'll do it on Earth. 
Oop. So here's my stats on Earth. Cash on hand. You can see there, sexy gajillion. Sexy amount of money right there. Session earnings, quite a bit. Lifetime Earth earnings. 189 sex a good total resets eight really come on that doesn't make any sense like 800 maybe uh total angel investors 2.02 undrigatitillion unlocks earned 496 sacrifice look at all those angels out of curiosity let me go ahead and take a look at the gallery and see just how close we are so we've made it to 6750 of the lemons but we can go all the way to 10 thousand so we're 496 of 633 so we're getting pretty close oh and hey you know what talking about big numbers and stuff of series this is now officially the longest running series in episodes the most episodes i have ever made in a series ever we just passed up loadout which was at 90 91 probably look it up before i go and make this claim playlist playlist all right let's look at my playlist look at all them playlists holy cow I think I played a few video games over the years. Look at this. Where you at, loadout? Where you at? Uh, there it is. 90 videos. Boom. Adventure capitalist. A little bit higher up somewhere in here. 91. Okay, so technically we passed it in the last video. So they're making this claim of a video late. But there you have it. And you know what's crazy about this? Is you guys may not see that this channel is like massively popular or whatever. But this series alone, based on a game that is legitimately about progress bars, over the entire course of the series, over 660,000 views has, has happened. <laughs> I like it. If you asked me about this when I was first starting off the Adventure Capitalist, I was like, I don't know what to do for my channel. I'm just gonna make like loadout videos for this month and see what happens. And I did. And I thought that was pretty much gonna be the end of it. Like, I don't know, nearly a year later, not so much, not quite a year, but we're coming up on it. <laughs> I'm still making videos of it and it's the longest running series ever. Not only that, it's the most consistent series I've ever done. So that's pretty cool. I'm getting better, guys. Mildly. <laughs> Give me some more pizza. Anyhow, that's something to be proud about. And we've made some serious progress here in this episode where we have really finally spent all our mega tickets and get a, gotten a huge boost on not only this planet, but the moon, which means like we're going to make some serious progress. Let's go on over here to the moon, check out where we are, get some more upgrades. Man, do we get the upgrades. We got to hang out on the moon a little bit longer. Boom. Angel wise though, Fred Sicilian, do it as Sicilian. We're not quite at the point of making another upgrade. Gravity booth, those aren't really aren't worth it. Anything I can upgrade though? Yeah, give me that giant laser. Speed of all investments times two. You know, when you get to these high numbers, you f start focusing less on uh, on these unlocks. You can just kind of go crazy. But it looks like the next biggest upgrade, since now we're actually focusing on stuff, we got a huge couple of huge upgrades that we can do that are just proud. Maybe they're gonna kill off the moon. Maybe it'll finish out. Um, the oxygen bar, that's huge. Cheese mine. That's huge. Amusement park is quite large as well, 888. And the moon shoes is ridiculous. Um, and those are the next upgrades. Cheese, 33. All right, let's go ahead and do some math real quick. 288. All right, let me get out the calculator. Forget it. I'm not doing it in my head. All righty, here we go. Boom. I need 545. I'm a little ways off the oxygen bar. I'm guessing these other ones, I'm like equivalently far off probably. Oh, I don't even need to look at the cheese. <laughs> I'm a long ways off the cheese. <laughs> like 400 or more like 500. Nearly, not quite. What about the amusement park? 1440? Uh, nope. That's always out there too. Moon shoes? Yeah. It just <laughs> These next upgrades really aren't, well, at least they're the next upgrade, but they are quite a ways out there yet. Luckily in the meantime though, I can get these nice little upgrades. So that's cool. Just start chipping away at them. Chip it Chip, chip. Gonna take a couple of resets though, I think, till we get to those upgrades. Don't get me wrong though. These upgrades up here are pretty stinking big. Look at that. 60, 33. The gravity booth, unfortunately, is kind of small. And the helium farm is also not really big. So I don't know. We're, we're at a kind of a slow point, but at least we've powered into it. So we might be slow, but we're moving fast. Does that make sense? Yeah. On that bombshell, I think I'm gonna leave you guys <laughs> for the evening. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time in the Adventure Capitalist, and I'll see you in the next episode. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar out. Eat some ass, Rico. Yeah, what's up, girl? Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Oops. Girl, that's not what I thought it would be. Don't hate me. One million. There we go.
<laughs> now we're talking. That's the sound of money if I ever heard it. Woo! It's kind of got a weird ring to it. I'm liking it so far. Million angels on Mars. Oh! Oh, you would have been the closest thus far. But you guessed on Mars. And now you're too far. <laughs> hey, man, my rhymes aren't that great, but... They're punny, aren't they? But right down there is takeout, so that's new. It's got mustard, pickles, and ketchup all over the place, making it look nice and tasty. No! <laughs> hey, man, you got a little something. A little something right there. <laughs>